it's Lauren Toyota with Juno TV and I'm hanging out with Sam Roberts getting pumped up for the 2015 Juno Awards. Uh, it's sort of the afternoon of rehearsals. What has your day been like so far? Yeah, it started early today. Yeah. So uh, we got up, uh, just to backtrack a little bit, I was I had hockey practice last night for the Juno, because oh, I'm part right. of the Juno Cup team. Mm -hmm. So I uh, got up this morning <laughs> a little bit very wobbly, sore. a little bit sore, and uh, and then came down an early sound check. And for all the people out there, when you're when you're doing sound check for a, for TV, it usually means a lot of repetitions until obviously the sound is good, but also working all the camera angles. And uh, so we went through the song a bunch of times, but it all went pretty well. So I heard you. It sounded good. Now I don't. You can't not hear us. I mean, it's, it's just sort of, there's there's music happening everywhere here. So so I wonder this. I mean, people actually don't know. This is going to air before the shows. We're getting people ready for Sunday to tune in for the Juno Awards on Sunday at 7 o'clock. But there is a special little, is it a surprise that you're doing for your performance? It is a it's surprise. A surprise. Therefore, okay. we can't tell you what it is. But can you, you give us a little tease? Like, how can we tease people to tune in? Because Sam Roberts just won't be alone on stage. That's the thing. What, what can I tell you? Hmm. It is not <laughs> Dancing Elephants. Okay. <laughs> Does that narrow it down But it's as bit? amazing as that. But, so, it's, but it's just as impressive. It's as actually very outfit. impressive. Yeah. I'm excited about it. It sounds good. You're going to want to watch. When you do the song that many times, though, how do you and the band get ready to actually give it, you know, 150%, as they say, on stage for the live show? And you've, you've exhausted the song so many times. Well, I think that if we were to play the show tonight, it would mm -hmm. be maybe more difficult to, to find that, yeah. that sense of urgency. But luckily, we have two days off, and we'll have forgotten about everything by then. But, uh, I, you know, I think that when you tour in a band you're used to that feeling of having just done it the day before so you you learn how to play it as if it's the first time and uh I, we want to do that you know i guess selfishly you want to do that for yourself mm -hmm, as well mm -hmm. because you 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 want to feel something when you're playing up there so congrats on the nominations you've got two this mm -hmm. year uh, single of the year and rock album of the year and the rock album of the year you've won before twice before mm -hmm. it's a big category I feel like you kind of own that category I don't think we own that category <laughs> that is you, did you just jinx us no well what I was gonna say though what's interesting about you guys being in the category is you're like kind of the danciest rock band mm -hmm. In terms of your album, are Low we pushing, maybe we're pushing the boundary now and we're mm. and does this mean we're gonna move into the well, pop category of with all maybe pop or? but I was thinking with all your remixes you do a lot of remixes on your songs and the deluxe version of your album low fantasy's got a bunch are you like a big dance electronic remix guy yeah we've been doing that for years on, on and it's a it's a part of the process that I really like now and because it's sort of you take something that you you've held so tightly that you you've, you've sort of considered every detail as you bring us on to life in the studio and all of a sudden you hand it over to a DJ who you may or may not know and you may or may not have any history with and then they just do their thing with it and it comes back in a completely unexpected new form and uh, I, I think we've all just become really uh, sort of hooked on that process. Yeah. So you could be in the electronic music category now with like Dead Mouse. Well ultimately I think the plan is to get, be in every category. Conquer them all, yeah. So if you have sort of an adult alternative song and a rock out and then people don't really know where to put you so they just put you everywhere it's kind of hedging our, our Juno bets yeah and then you don't you don't get labeled right okay well I looked at the seating plan where you are sitting mm -hmm. I don't know if you know where you're Who sitting, are we sitting with? So you're sitting with dead mouse so you should have a little chit chat with him although he's not the chattiest guy right. <laughs> see if you can convince him to do a remix or some kind of electronic Sam Roberts band collaboration what do you think about that it sounds like ideally that that would happen. So I would like to, I, yeah. Maybe that's that was all part of the plan. I'm not a great uh, schmoozer. No. No, I'm not. You know. Um, I, I don't know. I so I don't know. We'll try to. I'll try to work the room. I just don't know yeah, what. Yeah, work what the room. You're also sitting near our Kells okay, yeah, and well, lights. So that's good. Those are people we have a lot of history with, so at least we'll be in good company for sure. Okay, well just, you know, bring a little bring a little Mickey with you on Sunday and then you'll be a schmooze king. I do like this. <laughs> that's, how did she know that I was going to do that? Are you going to do, you, no, I just, are you? Or you've seen some of the tapes from past years. I you know? haven't, but if oh, you come see. see me on the red carpet with that, no, I'll be your best friend on the red carpet. How about that? Well, I, if I'm the only person on a hip, with a hip flask on the red carpet, that's a sad day for the Juno. <laughs> Agreed. Okay, good luck on Sunday. Thank I'll be rooting for you. Thank you. Thank you.